Hello all and welcome to Brian's workshop. This video is about how I'm making the camshafts for my five cylinder radial engine. We start with the drawing of the main dimensions that we will need. The first dimension we require is the relationship between the two cams, in this case 107 degrees. My rotary table has an extra index mark for use when the table is vertical. It is also adjustable. To set up the rotary table, we place 107 degrees on the normal index mark. And then we set the adjustable mark to read zero. With the cam blank fitted, we are nearly ready to go. All we need is the period that the valve is closed, in this case 243 degrees. Now bring down the cutter until it just touches the blank and then zero the Z dial. Back off the cutter and add some feed and then move the cutter over the blank to produce a flat. Then position the cutter so the front edge is just over the center line and then turn the rotary table 243 degrees. Then move the table backwards and forwards so you get a nice flat on the other side of your cam. Turn the cutter clear of the work and then back your rotary table back to zero ready for another cut. Repeat these moves until you've removed enough material equal to the lift of the cam. In this case, the lift was to be 2 mm. This can be confirmed by finally measuring the base circle of the cam, which in this case again should be 10 mm. So if we're satisfied now that we have a good cam, then we can back the tool away and keep it well clear. Now we can think about cutting the next cam. To do this, we reset the zero back to the original index mark. This then gives us our 107 degrees that we require between the two cams. Now you can place the cutter over the new cam blank and simply repeat all that you did for the first cam. And that's all there is. You'll be ready for the next one. And thank you for watching Brian's Workshop.